and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some brawl. That's right, we're going your vo brawl. We got a pretty sweet looking brawl donation deck here that we're going to be playing. If you don't know what brawl is all about, this is where you can play um, one of each card. So as you can see here, uh, it's, it's basically like Singleton. You can only play one copy of every card. Um, we got a Finale of Devastation that's down here also. Um, besides Basic Lands. Basic Lands are the only thing you can play more than one of. <laughs> Hawkeye is taking up the camera here. And you get a commander. Our commander is going to be your vote. Whatever you choose for your commander, all of your cards have to have the same color as your commander. So you can choose like five color commanders and stuff. Commanders have to be legendary creatures or planeswalkers. Um, uh, but we're going with Yorvo. So we're, we got a good stompy deck here filled with a lot of um, awesome green creatures and everything. Brawl is best of one. It's 25 life. So we're going to be playing a few of them. Got this Brawl. No, I said Yorvo Brawl. So here we go. Let's get some Brawl going. Okay. All right, time to brawl. Yeah. Yeah, Hawkeye knows the stream's all about him. You get a free mulligan in brawl also if you want a new seven card hand, which I kind of do here. This Guardian Project looks like an awesome card in brawl. Every time you play a creature, as long as it doesn't have the same name as another creature, which is Singleton, you get to draw a card. This card looks awesome. But I don't like the, like the Shared Summon and the Gargos. These are basically both dead cards. So while like this this is like pretty nice, I think I'm going to just take the Free Mulligan. What do you think here, team? Team's been playing this deck just a ton. Do you think this is a, a mulligan? I kind of feel like it is. But... I love turn two Paradise Druid. So like that's that's the thing that's giving me pause is turn two Paradise Druid is awesome. Yeah, I uh Dust Dream Decker. Oh, I need to I need to edit it. Uh no. Stream Decker doesn't. Oh, I got to I gotta change Stream Decker. Uh yeah, Stream Decker does not really understand Brawl decks. Hmm. About half the people are saying mole, about half the people are saying keep. Alright, so that means we're in mole. Yeah, gotta get that third land in there. Okay, I need to fix this stream decker. Um... So basically with the copy-paste... Okay. Go get him, Pulp Collector. They're playing Golos. Golos has got to be good. Yes, Wildborn Preserver has Flash, but I'm just playing it right now to get the co the counter on the Pell Collector. No, Golos can be anything. It's five it's five color. Golos is Golos is five colors. You can play you get to play five colors with it. Deal incognito with the Twitch Prime sub. So deal incognito. so alive thanks for that sub there our 14th sub of the day so 
unfortunately, they can turn Yorvo into a 3-3, so then it doesn't have its ability anymore, but it's a 3-3 with four counters on it, so it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, I'm deleting the old Brawl list. I, I re-updated the Brawl list. Yorvo, Lord of Oakenburg. Oakenburg. It's not poison. Trust me. Hmm. Where's our creatures at? Yeah, you can you can only have one field of the dead in brawl, but yep, you can you get field of the dead in brawl. Field is banned in standard, not in brawl. All right, so they have all five colors now to be able to activate Golos. Um, It would be nice to have a creature a previous turn to be able to grow the preserver. And while I'd like to be able to hold up Vela Summer, I think it's just really important to. Like, I think we had to get the Preserver to a 5-5 five five here and make that attack. Okay, that's good. That's a... That was a really good turn for us. They they just get a land drop here, nothing else. Well, they could, you know, they could still have three mana potentially. So 
So they'd rather play the Demir Gilgate from their hand than get a free land with one of these. All right, so we can get two creature cards with different names. Do we have a two mana creature that matters here? Harpooner, no. No, we do not. What's up, Storm? Yeah, we brawling. All right, what if I attack with these? Golos blocks there, that thing blocks there, then they take five, they die. But Golos could block Pelt Collector, and then they go, they go chump, chump, block Pelt Collector, go to one. I think that's a good trade for me. Field of the Dead is banned in standard, not in brawl. Oh. Right. The game more life. All right, not a good attack. All right, we'll be able to we'll, we'll be able to make our decision here with the shared summons. Um, I'm thinking probably shifting Ceratops. Or sorry, sorry, I'm not questing beast. Probably questing beast. I think it's something that gives us trample. Do so we have Cav we have God Eternal Ronus? We get Voracious Hydra. I have learned much from my ancestors. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense and absolutely true. It does just make it an 8-8. Eight, eight. Is that even bad for me? I can veil to protect it, but I don't even know if that's bad for me. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I think I'll save Veil vale for them elking the next thing. That's bad for me. Is there... Okay, Hawkeye, you're in the way. I can't see. Is there any way to give this... Give this Yorvo Trample. Doesn't look like it. Stop. If I get Questing Beast, I have three other mana. Yeah, there's there's no end race forerunners. I don't I don't have that. All right, we need to draw land. No. 
Guess I should have cycled the Veil of Summer. So if we would if we would have drawn a land, then Wicked Wolf could have killed the 2 2. And then attack with both. They can't block both. I could have just cycled Veil of Summer for, for nothing, though, but... Did kind of feel like it was for nothing. So Golos costs 9 now, if they want to play it. I don't have I don't have enough mana for Endraise Forerunners anyway. So there's there's a trample mammoth. Was it like aggressive mammoth or something like that that gives all your creatures trample? Yep, the good old everything's one of. Name the best card ever. Automatically hit it. We'll see if our if our next card is land, then if I would have cycled this veil during their turn last turn, we would have won. Nope, it is not. Veil doesn't make things unblockable. Just means they can't be targeted. It's not protection. I don't know. This one's kind of lost. I, I guess I should have Wicked Wolf killed the zombie, then attack, but... I guess, like, the reason why I didn't want to is because if if I do that, then, like, I wanted to make it so, like, if they're 10-10 if they're blocks my 8-8, that I, that I get to fight the 10-10. Like, that's, that's what I was thinking. Rise, my elemental friend. So, like, the 10-10 the, the couldn't just... Block the 8 8. No, that wasn't lethal. If I if I kill the zombie first and then attack with both, then the 10 10 just blocks the 8 8 and they take four. The the good thing about this them taking four is they is that I would have killed the Tamiyo, so Tamiyo, Tamiyo wouldn't no, gotten. I am not making this up as um, I wouldn't would not have gotten Krasis back. But yeah, they're at seven. We would have dealt four damage to them, but then then they would still have a ten ten alive, and my Yorvo would have died. And I don't know how I'd be dealing with the ten ten at that point. Hmm. I know. I noted this somewhere. 
Um, yeah, I could have cast Veil in response to Teferi, but I was talking about the whole previous combat, and I didn't really notice they were playing Teferi, so I was just clicking OK. All right, so they get back. They get back. Krasis. GG. They're so close. Need to draw land there after casting the shared summons. So close. That, or of course, a, if we had a, a, anything to play on turn five. Yeah, like whenever we had. <clears throat> We played the Yorvo on turn three, and then all we had was just lands after that. We didn't have another creature for turn four or turn five or turn six. If we had one creature on for any of those turns with the pumps, we would have got there. But no creature for any of those turns. All right, so this hand needs to draw two lands. Yep. Flooded early and then couldn't get the, the one extra land that we needed after flooding. Come on, deck, draw two lands. These two cards are incredible. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to be getting your vote in play first, aren't I? I was thinking getting this thing that's like death touch that they won't want to block and then we we attack, we do damage to them, we draw a card. That is not a good card to be playing with at least with Field of the Dead, that is. I kind of assuming they're Field of the Dead. So I did miss out on one point of damage there, but I wanted them to block Pelt Collector. I wanted Adversary to get through, so I drew a card. And then if we drew a card, I wanted to see if I got a land to play one of these first. Oh, There's way too many lands in there. <clears throat> They're just playing standard Golos. They have Grazer. They got their Time Wipe. They just got their their standard deck. I assume those are just one ofs. <laughs> this gets you way too angry. I know this is why you don't restrict cards in standard. Then they just have like their, you know, like their one time wipe, and you just get upset. We are the apex predators. All right, well, awesome hand opponent. Good job. Way to not miss land drops like I did. Green creature deck loses to sweeper. Breaking news: more at eleven. Apex 
This Garrett card's really good. Yeah, you can have seven seven dwarves in a brawl deck. I don't I don't like that rule. Just saying, just like you can have a million persistent petitioners. Well, not a million, you know, but you gotta have sixty. You can only have sixty cards, but but same thing with persistent petitioners. You can have as many of them as you want. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. We had a cool engine going there, but. You get to go too wide. Uh, no, Oko will not get banned from all formats, no. Niv Mizzet Reborn, another five card or five color commander. I have not beaten a five color commander ever. Even when, it, when we played Brawl the other day, every time we, pl we played against the five color commanders, I lost. So hopefully we get this one. We got turn two Yorvo. That 25 life, that extra little bit of life, makes it hard to out aggro these. Really powerful decks. Come on. There you go. Um, I just take the land. Three two doesn't do anything. Just adds a counter to your vote as a three two. I guess we just take it. I'm trying to think if like we need the six mana. All right, cool storm. I was pretty sure they're going to be blocking there. All right, fell the pheasant, made a food token, so we got that for the wicked wolf. Fell the pheasant is only five damage though, so it doesn't kill Niv Mizzet. They're not playing very many mana rocks. So I could shuffle the Bond of Flourishing back, but that would put two lands that are down at, at the bottom of my library. I would shuffle those. I'm not sure I really want to shuffle those. Yorvo. Where are all their mana rocks? Watch out. These woods. Stay on the trail. So I could kill one token and then swing out at Garrick. Garrick dies. They probably have the other token block the, the Loaming Shaman. That There goes my rabbit bite, though. Um, if I just attack... I mean, I have to. Man, this Garrick card is so good. 
If I just attack them, they get to chump, chump Yorvo, and go to four. I mean, I have to do, I can't let them just get two creatures every turn. So that obviously hurts curse is affecting me more than I really thought. bad. Garrick traded with my 3-2, my 3-2, three two, my, three two, my removal spell, and also wasted a turn of attacking. That's quite a bit of value there for that Garrick. Yeah, that's that's a tough that's a tough call, because you know it, it is destroy. So you know I, I wasted that that food because they didn't destroy the wolf, but if I don't stack the food and they do destroy the wolf, then that's a huge feels bad. So that's that's a tough call. There. My opponent needs a lot more mana rocks than what they're playing. Ceratops! Smash! Smash! Looks like that haste creature was critical. Good job, Ceratops. Yay. All right. Got to win. There we go. <clears throat> One and two with your vow. <laughs> Dante West. Thanks so much there, Dante. Thanks for that uh, resub there. Ooh, Feather could be tough. I really like this hand. I like the Paradise Druid and Beanstalk Giant. 15. So do we want to play Yorvo or Rampant Growth with Beanstalk Giant? Just have 10th District Legionnaire on turn two. It's busted.
So if we ramp and growth, that would be land number four. This is land number five. So we'd be able to have Hydra for three. That's not killing Feather yet. All right, we'll get Yorvo out here. All right, basically, 10th District Legionnaire is such a powerful card. Um, I, I want to get that out of here. It slows us down a little bit, but getting that thing out of there, I think it's going to be worth it. It's just, it's too good of a card. They have something like Integrity. The, something that pumps the power of the Fencing Ace they could trade. All right, we dealt five damage, and our opponent is down to 20. It's like we didn't do anything. Do y'all think Brawl would be better if it was 20 life? Like normal standard? I'll kill the double striker. Whoa. Is that Lito? No. 12 damage? Should I wait? I think I wait a turn. Let's get this trampler out here. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be waiting. You like, alright, yep, y'all like 25 more, it looks like? Cool. Yeah, it makes playing aggro pretty difficult with the inconsistencies and with 25 life. But... Um... But that's kind of what Brawl's about. Like, it's not its not supposed to be about aggro. It's supposed to be about playing big, crazy spells. been using this Loaming Shaman at all yet. But the person that made the deck said they've played against Persistent Petitioners a, a couple of times and Loaming Shaman would win them those games. Alright, so trade with Hydra. That's fine. Yeah, this is a good food token. The Trail of Crumbs was was making this food token for us before. What made it this time? Oh, the Gingerbread Cabin. Didn't even get to play our God Eternal Ronis. We were going to do so much damage. All right, two and two. <laughs> How 
how had the mighty feather has fallen? We're coming back. We're we're O for Golos. No, why'd I have to say that? Uh, why'd I have to say that? Golos does seem pretty broken here, being able to just five colorless go put a land into play. <laughs> no, why'd I say O for Golos? Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have... I, I had to open my big mouth. Alright, this one's, this one's on me. Out ramping Golos. Get him, Wildborn Preserver. Obviously, they have Growth Spiral. Why not? <clears throat> My hand's very good, but... There's this as well. <laughs> Tados, tireless streamer. <laughs> All right, so looks like they got the elemental stuff going on. Yeah, play against Sliver decks. Not, there's n not slivers on Arena. Get him, Preserver. Yeah. Get him. Yeah, we need a way to give these creatures trample, honestly. That's what we're missing. What's that wolf? Or what's the what's the mammoth that gives stuff cre gives stuff trample? I feel like that needs to be in the deck. Isn't there like a six mana creature? Aggressive mammoth? Three GGG, eight eight trample. Your other creatures have trample? Yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah, our deck our deck definitely needs that. Yeah, we also have Vivian. That's true. There is Vivian in the deck that we could just draw Vivian. Hmm.
This is such a bummer. Ugh. I mean, I could send them both at Uga and they kill Ceratops. It's like, that doesn't... That's not great. If I send this here and this here, they just block and kill Ceratops and they take seven, go to four. So that's not great. If I just send this here, they just don't block, go to four. Ugh. This is rough. But if I don't block Ugin, they just get to make two two blockers with Ugin that just that just if I don't kill Ugin, they just make two two blockers. Yeah, I guess letting Ugin die means that now they can block with Cavalier and get Ugin back. Oh yeah, that's fair. It's totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah. This is completely reasonable. It's definitely not too good for standard or anything. Can't get through this Cavalier of Thorns. Ugh. I'm honestly pretty surprised they made those blocks, honestly. The, the Cavalier one doesn't surprise me because you get Ugin back. That one doesn't surprise me, but I'm I'm honestly surprised that they let Yurok die whenever they could play Golos and get a whole lot of 2-2s, two you know, because you get double the Golos trigger and then double the Field, field of the Dead triggers. Like, if I'm them, I'm not. I'm just chump blocking with a 2-2. Two -two. I'm, not, I'm not letting Yurok die if I'm them. We have some card advantage stuff in here. Return of the Wild Speaker would draw five plus cards. And then, yeah, we have some trample, like Vivian Arcbow Ranger would be really nice. Maybe I should have just thrown down the, the Harpooner and not not worried about having Harpooner do anything with uh, Flyers at all, like a, a potential crisis. If I would have played Harpooner first, then Yorvo, then we would have got two counters on Pelt Collector and made this a 4-4. I wonder why they want to kill that one whenever I, I get to recast it. All right, well, that was my bad. Okay, that, that was a bad attack by me. If I just attack with Ceratops... Yeah, I should just play Yorvo first and then just attack with Ceratops and then give Trample. But then I don't get I don't get to play the harpooner, but then I have a, a five five pelt collector. Okay, well it doesn't matter.
I guess that's why they wanted to block with your rock. It would make a ton of sense to block with your rock, though. I'm not going to sit this one out. I've got time. Look at them with only having seven lands over there. Pfft. Seven lands is nothing. Gullus looks pretty broken. In Brawl, just give him an extra five life. You always have Gullus in your hand. Yeah, can't get away from Gullus, Field of the Dead. That deck's designed to be creature decks, and that's, you know, lots of sweepers. That's what we're playing. Creature decks that don't want to see sweepers. Yeah, we did We did finally beat a five-color commander a little bit ago. With the Niv-Mizzet, it... it it helps that my opponent couldn't actually cast Let's him, is it? This down. Here goes nothing. I guess these are all just Teferi decks, though. Fighting through these brawl decks is tough. Okay, so I only got two cards this time. Maybe, I mean, I, I prioritize killing Teferi, but maybe I should have killed the Goose. I still have, like, the five mana for Reborn anyway, though. Yep. Yeah, sweepers are really dangerous with the fairy, so that's true. The fairy has to go. Every 
tale about me is absolute nonsense. I invite you to change your ways. How can we possibly win? Are exhausting. I don't think I want a wolf fight. I, d I don't think I can kill Niv Mizzet because if I kill Niv Mizzet, they get to recast Niv Mizzet and, and draw, you know, like three or four cards. I can't really kill Niv Mizzet. Yeah, Ashiok is a good commander. Ashiok stops the Golos decks from all their searching and everything, but then also just it's a it's a slow format with <clears throat> with having the twenty five life. It's a slow format. Yeah, Ashiok is both blue and black. It <laughs> keeps coming back to mill. Yeah, Kiora would be a good one. I've never played against Kiora yet. Oh man, remember how we have Vivian in this deck? Could we ever just draw a Vivian? That would be awesome. You go Soren? Yeah, Soren's really cool. Shock. Ah. Yeah, Wildborn Preserver. Saving the day. Alright, let's get some scry in. Sure. Just do all these triggers. Uh, take action. Pay one.
do all these triggers. No. I'm glad my opponent was not attacking with Niv Mizzet, honestly. Because I can't. Again, I can't kill Niv Mizzet, so I can't actually block Niv Mizzet. So I don't know how we're getting around it right now. Yeah, we gotta go wide. No. I hope my opponent... Uh. I guess my opponent just realized that, I guess. Ooh. That card's pretty cool. Wish we had trample. We're one mana short from being able to play Wicked Wolf also to take out a blocker. Wait, no, you, you go last. Yeah. Thank you. Does that give Trample? Plus three, plus three. No, not Trample. All right, so they Krasis blocks Biogenic Ooze. They go chump, 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 take six. It's probably not worth attacking with Ooze, honestly. Why didn't I block? Because then they get to recast Niv-Mizzet and draw lots of cards. That's a, That's bad for me. I don't think I've ever seen a 2613 creature before. Yeah, so next turn we'll be able to yeah, we can just do draw 13 next turn. And then maybe maybe we get I assume we get a land out of those 13 and then maybe we get Vivian. And then we can give the Preserver Trample. I think that's what I want to do is draw 13, right? Um, if we pump, they have two blockers. They go block. Wait, wait, wait. So they have two blockers. So they go block, block. These are the two big ones. But then that's six. Yeah, I mean that's that's too, that's that's just lethal. Yeah, they're out of cards and everything. That's just lethal. I'm so glad that's an instant. I didn't mess that up. I thought it was an instant. So glad it actually is. Yay, we did it. Assume y'all aren't humans. Okay, good. Yay. Barely stayed alive long enough. Yeah, Wildborn Preserver was clutch. <clears throat> All right, one more match.
One more here. This is it. Game seven of the World Series. It's three to three. Game seven against Teferi. Game seven of the World Series. <laughs> you think I should have drew 13 instead of winning? Drawing 13 is pretty exciting, gotta admit. Call that restraint. <laughs> Teferi is one of your favorite commanders. Looks pretty good. No more promise, no more sorrow. No longer will I follow. No, don't cast a instant speed. <laughs> Yay. Teferi gone. Guardian Project is nice. I want to play this thing, though. I just had nothing to do. I was expecting like chemistry's insights or <clears throat> precognitive perception. No. Planar cleansing, the worst sweeper. No. Put back in hand. I have prepped, I have just the <clears throat> for this. Well, that card's great against Return of the Wild Speaker.
I was not prepared for this. I'm just trying to smash over here. Poem's being rude. <clears throat> yeah, questy B rule. That was a good draw. How great would it be to be able to play God Eternal Ronus first and then return to the Wild Speaker? That could be so great. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa Snake. Might be a bad idea. Grandpa Snake. There is Nissa in the deck. Right? Yeah, we got Nissa in here. Whoa, Vivian. I don't expect to draw you. Alright, so it's probably instant speed sweeper. Honestly, it's probably instant speed sweeper. Not sweeper. Oh, there's just three sweepers in Azorius? <clears throat> Alright, well then maybe I should have played Vivian. Time wipe, realm cloak giant, planar cleansing, citywide bust, flood of tears. I guess you just go to the command zone. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe you'll make it cheaper again, but put it in the library. But no, I don't. I, it's just better to have it in the command zone. All right, let's shuffle all those really good cards back. We had some some really good ones there. Yep, they're playing Azorius Flash. That's more like it. Hmm. That's a great one. Bertalox donation deck. Fourth slot Tuesday, sounds great. Thank you so much there, Bertalux. Fourth slot. 
All right, got you down. Um, it's so hard to play against flash decks. We gotta double up this zero this, that this grazer is. Oh, I still can't play Greyhenge. I guess I didn't quite do the math. I thought I was just gonna be able to play the Greyhenge here with the two mana, honestly. So I know attacking them is lethal, but I mean it's not it's not gonna happen. Yeah, Yorvo's our commander, so every time every time it dies, it adds two generic to the cost, so it's died twice, so now it costs four GGG. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get through. Dawn of Hope's a difficult one. So that keeps them from drawing a card. You know, they have the mobilized district over there that can now block Barkai Troll. That's pretty messed up. Yeah, double mass manipulation, that's pretty messed up. Unfortunately, we don't have Tristani. Oh, I've done Just the instant speed thing mass before. manipulation. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. You're done. Uh. 
I can't really let them steal Yorvo. They steal Yorvo, you know, I don't get it back. This mass manipulation is just such a problem. Last of me. But I, I guess I have no other choice. Yeah, we're pretty dead. I mean, they're down to 25 cards in library. I don't know if we can mill them out. I don't think so. But that's about all I got. We need to draw more creatures. There's 40 cards still left in our deck. <clears throat> 10 of them are lands right here. There we go, that's a creature. Velo Summer is awesome. I can stop that mass manipulation. Kind of. If they don't play Teferi. Gotta go gotta play bigger bombs against the deck. I mean you can't. Green cards don't go bigger than mass manipulation. I know my responsibility. No, vehicles do not have haste. I'll protect you. Still going strong, drawn lands. That's the card I needed to take out this Teferi. I can gain three life, but it's still lethal with manipulation there. Especially with the mobilized district. Darn. Lost the World Series. Lost game seven. That was uh, tough. It's difficult playing against all instant speed stuff. 
it kind of seemed like whatever I did, I played into what, what my opponent had there. All right, so yeah, so we're... Yep, good effort. Yeah, mass manipulation, really tough. We faced a lot of decks that just went a lot bigger than green creatures. Um, you know, green creatures are really good against, against like other aggro decks, other creature decks. You know, we can outsize them and stuff like that. But like, you know, we played against a lot of sweepers, a lot of sweepers, a lot of field of the dead, making zombies that we couldn't get through because we don't have trample besides the one Vivian that we weren't drawing. And so it was difficult. But that's green creature. That's the life of the green creatures, though. But still pretty fun to play. All right, so that's Yorvo. All right, that's our Brawl Commander. I kind of feel like maybe just having Vivian being the commander would be better. It's like like just always having Vivian and just have Yorvo in here. You know, you got like just all these creatures. You know, try to play like a lot of creatures, then you always curve into Vivian every single time. I feel like this would be the the commander to have maybe questing beast maybe questing beast being the commander just having that thing all the time but oh well y'all y'all think nissa is the best mono green commander we should we should be having nissa nissa is the best commander i could see that too we we never drew nissa nissa would have been awesome yeah i could see nissa being the one because she's the one that doesn't really care about Oko. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, leave some comments. Let me know how you, you are liking Brawl, what you're doing in Brawl, if you're doing anything to beat these five-color commanders and everything like that. It does really feel like just the Planeswalkers are just like the way to go with the commanders, except for except for like the five-color ones, of course, with Nev Mizzet and Golos. Those cards are basically those cards are basically planeswalkers anyway, though. All right, uh, that's that's it here for Yorvo Brawl. So again, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.